Hello and welcome back to Castlevania Legacy of Darkness. Last episode I messed up an incredibly simple jump and lost my level 3 axe. <laughs> oh, whoops. Yep, you did. Today we have some clock tower action. Well, it's just, it's just a, you know, a, a young little girl in a clock tower. It's not like that's ever been done before. <laughs> Why did I... Oh, because I... <sighs> this game has a weird side-jumping mechanic, which I think is supposed to be used as a dodge, but <laughs> it kind of doesn't work. <laughs> you should have this... When you're saying that, you should have, like, the Scissor Man. Like, like, get, like, an image of the Scissor Man and have him on screen with a scissor sound effect? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, have, I have no... What, what, what is... What, 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 what is this Scissor Man? And what does he have to do with clocks and towers? Mm -hmm. And you just completely missed that jump. Carrie jumps farther than other characters. It can... It can really throw off my... timing on this. Dang it! It's like, I, I try to compensate and then I undershoot. Which is really more of a me problem than a game problem. I mean, you should ch you should see me try to shoot basketballs sometime. <laughs> it's like, well, that was nowhere near the net, and that went clear over the net. <laughs> Whoa, damn, look at all that money! Yeah, if I was Cornell, Cornell would have just reached the ledge right there and had to pull himself up. Huh. Carrie can't jump as high as other characters, so she needs to stand on these parts to elevate herself. Because she's shorter, but she jumps, f she makes further jumps. You can't carry anymore. Carry can't carry anymore. Huh. Oh, don't be such a baby. Clock Tower. Clock Tower! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't know why, but it sounds really similar to Crossfire. <laughs> you know what's funny is that Capcom made a Clock Tower 3 where you were a magical girl that fought evil by shooting, like, magic arrows at them. Huh. And people were like, what the fuck is this? This is not Clock Tower. Yeah. Would you like to save on this dead corpse? Why, yes, I would. <laughs> Shut up. Whack, smack, whack, whack, whack. Whack, smack, attack my back. There you go, third time's a charm. Is a charm? There's a knife. Oh, uh, we don't need a knife. Tower key. Letter B. Letter, letter B, letter B, letter B, letter B. Which one is that key? Letter B. Letter B. <laughs> it's a six. It's a nine. It's a letter. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. 
get some money. It's a save crystal, baby! Good job saving! Time to climb the clock! This, this room in particular is so different in the original version. Huh. It is, it is not even funny. The room that was in the room that was here in the original version had like almost no real structure to it. Wow. it. It felt more like a test room, a a bunch of like gears and whatnot that you could platform across were thrown together with very little rhyme or reason. Hmm. Like there was a goal to the room that you, you had to get a key and then take the key to the door at the end, but. The room structure did not naturally lead you to where you were supposed to go. It really felt like a test room that they just, like, haphazardly throw, threw a uh, key and a candle and was like, uh, here. Hmm, lots of platforming. Yep. This room, on the other hand, just the, the way it's designed naturally leads you to platforming up these and then there's that candle up there that has the key in it and then I and then I just kind of go back down and use it to unlock the elevator to get to the other side and then from the other side I naturally platform back up to get to the door huh so it's like this this room by its design leads you to where it's where you're supposed to go. Yep. I mean it does it does take a bit of platforming skill and whatnot, but you're not confused as to what to do. Huh. If I was feeling particularly adventurous or had save states, I might have tried, tried to jump from this rotating gear onto that other one, <laughs> which would have skipped like half the stage. Oh wow. Considering that Carrie jumps farther than other characters, she might have been able to do it, but I, I don't feel like being risky. So you've got key B and key C. And then I have to go get key E. Ride the Vader. All too easy. Not that Vader. <laughs> Ella Vader. Okay, now that now that I said it like that, that just makes me think of a bizarre ship between Ella and Darth Vader. It's like, what? <laughs> it's like, please, nobody draw that. Somebody's gonna draw that. Fuck. If it doesn't already exist, that is. Uh. Still waiting. You spin me slowly. Oh, so slowly. You got some stuff. Eh. Yeah. Mm. Uh. <laughs> Three, 360 grab! 360 no scope crop rotation. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Have you seen that video, the farm simulator 360 no scope crop rotation? Uh uh. Oh. You should. I, I need to show you that. I 
I made a hasty jump without positioning the camera right because I I saw that the jump was coming up and my window was missing out. Hmm. Hasty jumps make wasty lumps. <laughs> <laughs> wasty lumps? <laughs> uh, you know, I could probably beat a mind reader because even I don't know what the hell I'm going to say sometimes. <laughs> there you go again with your cra crazy ledge grabs. It's like, I am facing a completely different direction. I'm this direction now! It's like, how, why... I'm just uh, grateful it works that way. Because you'd be missing a lot more jumps. <laughs> Fire, go away. Thank you. So, yeah, if I could have jumped from that other gear I, onto this gear here... <laughs> I would have skipped, like, all that platforming. Wow. Looks like you've got to jump on some gears. Go! Ah, there you go. Yeah. By the way, in the original game, this room didn't exist. Huh. Like, there was a different version of that last room, but this, this whole thing right here, this was not in the original game at all. Huh. The level stopped at, at the original game's equivalent to that last room. There! Yay, saved. Wee! <laughs> Wee! Slip and slide. Is that mom on wet banana? <laughs> what? <laughs> that was, it was like a commercial for an old slip and slide. And there it was called... <laughs> wet banana. <laughs> is that mom on wet banana? It is! <laughs> I don't want to think about moms and wet bananas. <laughs> That's because your mind just goes straight to the gutter. <laughs> Shut up! It was on one of the Nostalgia Critic commercial specials. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like, Mom, get off my <laughs> wet banana! What would Dad say? <laughs> um... I ain't touching that one. <laughs> well, those were a bunch of weird <laughs> jumps. <laughs> I'll Whoa. go slightly in this angle, slightly in this angle. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever works, I guess. <laughs> Stupid fire, get out of the way. Well, technically it wasn't in the way when I got here, but, you know, I was, I was like, I, I don't want it to burn my ass as I go past. <laughs> Actually, at this at this angle, it would burn a lot more than just her ass. Yeah. It's save time. Oh, there are a lot more save crystals in this game than there were in the original. <laughs> Remember when I was playing as Cornell and I fell and I had to climb back up the hard way? Yeah. Glad that didn't happen. I just I just don't trust to, I could have gotten past, but it's like I just don't trust it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There are times in games when you're like, could I get past? I don't I don't know, I don't trust. 
And then and then there are times where you just go for it anyways and you're fine, and other times you just go for it and you get your ass handed to you. Yeah. Pennsylvania slowly climbing on lead straddling along ledges Adventure Excitement Adventure Excitement Perils Flames! Spiky things that want to knock you off the damn... Gear shaft thing. <laughs> yes, it's a gear shaft thing. Good job, Mark. <laughs> you figured it out. I was going to say crank at first. Sounds when you do stuff. <gasps> I thought it was sounds when you hit things. Sounds when you hit things. Meth throttling. Oculus support from. <laughs> How many was it? Five. Five simultaneous Oculus! He, sh he, sh he should have made it eight Oculus. Uh, what did he say? Realistic hair physics? Yes, realistic hair physics. Look at it! <laughs> Look at it! That's like the funniest Steam trailer on all of Steam, I think. Are you enjoying Battle Blocks Theater and on PS on PlayStation Store and Xbox Live Arcade? Uh, quiet, you! Because I have two words that'll change your life forever: Steam version. Version. <laughs> no, it actually it actually holds on that for a while. It's like Steam version. <laughs> It's like yeah, yeah, that that that's that's the words. So yeah, I I purposely jumped down to a to a lower ledge just to show what was in those candles. Huh. It was a chicken and a roast beef, so really nothing important. Chicken and a roast beef, chicken and a roast roast beef. Roaf. Roaf. Chicken and a roaf beef. <laughs> When did when did you turn into a dog? <laughs> Chicken and a rough beast. I should not be platforming this well on these things. It's like by the laws of physics, this should not be. <laughs> Swing time. No! What was that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I keep forgetting that you've got save states. Well, they're not save states, but there's so many of them, it almost feels like you've got save states. No, I, I was asking what was the way you said. You're like, oh no! <laughs> It's like, because I, th I thought you were going to get sent back a ways, but you weren't. Convenient! I just lost my power-ups. So that sucks. Oh, look at this part. Nope! Nope. About those power-ups, with the exception of my axe, <laughs> I'm I'm back to full power. Yay! Oh, good thing the axe doesn't. I mean, the axe 
the lightning blasts from the axe don't really help all that much for the upcoming boss fights. So, I got more or less what matters. You just barely made it onto it. Pull the lever! And then Marco's flying out of his chair. Wrong lever! Why do we even have that lever? <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> Doing. <laughs> there you go. That's the end of the clock tower, isn't it? Yes. Once you go through there. Yes. Sweet. But first, you gotta buy some goods. The contract. Boof. Oh, this guy looks like he belongs in House of the Dead too. <laughs> I've taken care of G. <laughs> Speaking of which, if anyone's interested, they just announced that House of the Dead 1 and 2, but 2 is on everything, um, are coming to the Switch. They yes. Have, they have not... We have not had a home version of House of the Dead 1 since the Sega Saturn. Or the and, and that version did not live up to the arcade version. Yeah. So when we did that on the show, we had to emulate it. Yeah. So I'm going for Carrie's bad ending. So, um... Now, for the bad ending, you have to... Did I not use the storeroom key? What the fuck? Anyways... <laughs> To, to get the bad ending with either character, you have to get to the final area in in about, like, 11 days or more. Huh. In-game days. So, I'm just gonna sit here and just do this. I'm gonna go to the bathroom while you do this. Uh, you can stop the recording, dude. Oh. This, this is the end of the episode. They're, they don't need to see me doing this. <laughs> You're like, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Like, dude, you can just stop the video. Did we say goodbye to everyone? Now we did. <laughs> well, that's the reason I didn't stop the recording. You weren't like, oh, well, that's the episode. Or, oh, see you next time. You were just like, I'm gonna do this. I'm like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> End the episode, damn it. Well, tell me these things. Stop. <laughs>